We are going to be talking about how to show elapsed time on a number line. So I went ahead and drew my number line there in red. Let's say that I started, okay, I started my homework at 5.10 p.m. And I finished my homework at 6.30 p.m. So I'm going to try to figure out how much time passed between 5.10 and 6.30. So a way to do that using a number line is I go ahead and write my starting time. So remember, I started at 5.10 p.m. And I decide that an easy way for me to figure this out is to go by tens each time, by 10 minutes. So from 5.10, if I add 10 minutes, now I'm at 5.20. So this jump from 5.10 to 5.20 was 10 minutes. Then if I'm going to go and add another 10, jump by 10 minutes, I can go from 520 to 530. I'm going to keep up with that, 540, 550. Remember, I'm adding 10 each time. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. When you get to 550, remember how many minutes are in an hour. 60 minutes equal one hour. So if I add another 10 to 550, I would have the equivalent of 560. Now 560 is not a time, so you're actually gonna go and skip forward to six o'clock. So you're adding that last 10 minutes there, six o'clock, we're gonna keep going. Remember, we're trying to get to 630. So I'm gonna keep going. Then I have 610, 620, and then 630 is where I'm ending up. And remember, each time I jumped forward, I jumped forward by 10 minutes. So now we need to figure out how many times I added 10 minutes because that's going to tell me how much time has passed. So let's look at this. I'm going to circle them. All right, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's 80 minutes to get from 5.10 to 6.30. Now, a lot of times people aren't gonna ask you to tell them time in just minutes. So we're gonna figure out how to go from 80 minutes to showing it with the hour and minute way of showing time. Now, there's two ways to do this. So the first way is I could just try to figure out how many um, hours I had to begin with, and that means that I'm just going to stop when I get to 60. So let's do this in purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, six times 10 is 60. So this right here is one hour. And then this is my time left over. I have 10, 20. So 20 minutes left over. So my time is one hour and 20 minutes. Or a way I can do this, if I know if I have that I have 80 minutes here, 80 minutes, I can take away the 60 minutes that are in an hour because I know that I have at least one hour. 80 minus 60 is 20, so I have 20 minutes left over, which is one hour, 20 minutes. So you can write it as one hour, 20 minutes, or you can write it as one colon, 20 for the amount of elapsed time. I hope this helped. Um, I'm going to be attaching a Khan Academy video that shows you um, some more examples of this, and we're going to continue to practice this.